This is not your daughter. Do you understand? Her name is Eleanor, and she is mine. Now, kneel, please. Remove your helmet. Now, take the pistol. Place it against your head. Fire. And welcome back to Rapture. Hey guys, it's Rent Plays Bioshock 2. Oh boy, the world's changed since we've been gone. New person's in charge, and all of the subtitles in the intro cinematics lag by about seven seconds. I replayed that a few times. No difference. Ugh, anyway. So, but we're back in Rapture. We are now a big daddy. Exciting news. And I'm going to go ahead and announce what I'm doing with the difficulty this time. I am going to actually be playing through this game on normal mode, or um, I suppose medium difficulty. But I am still disabling the Vita Chambers because I think they're overpowered and dumb. But I like playing through what I've played through of this game on medium. And we've just gotten our first glance at my new nightmare. That'll be fun to deal with later. Whew. This place is a mess. Lesson one, mob jockeys. You are under the ocean now. If you feel the soft patter of rain on your hat, you're already fired. Lesson two, 
You can jumpstart a dead generator with a direct spark, but clear the guests out of the pool first. Scares these rich pricks to watch a working stiff hurling thunderbolts. You follow me? And so it looks like we're gonna need Thunderbolt in order to proceed. Howdy! <laughs> Our first uh, first aid kit. Fantastic. But anyway, let's see here. We got a key code for this door. 1540. I can do that. 1540. Except. So, we are an Alpha Series Big Daddy in this game. Which is nothing like the Big Daddies that we fought in the original, by the way. The Alpha series can actually use plasmids. My husband is such a perfect idiot. Throws away all his spending money on gene tonics to affect a look of physical fitness. So he'll have an excuse to sit on his rear all day listening to radio serials. Steven, I tell him. You want to be fit? Come swim laps with me, the old-fashioned way. It's your mind that's atrophying. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. These Eve dispensers are nice. You just kind of sit here and fill up. I think we only need can carry one more, though. It's the only bad thing. In this game, you can't carry nine health kits and f nine uh, Eve hypos. You get maxed out at five. They kind of realized that was a little bit overpowered. Another reason I'm kicking the difficulty down, just so you know. This game is a little bit harder than the original. Father. Oh. Please hurry, Daddy. Uh, I'll hurry in a second. I need to finish checking these rooms out. Let's see here. Some cigarettes. Smoke some Nicolite. I've had slight recording issues with this game thus far, though. For some reason, any games that I play that have to do with Windows Live have trouble recording. And the second one has that issue because it has a multiplayer component, I guess. But I might go on a rant about Windows Live at some point, and I apologize if I do. Oh, I wonder what this does. This doesn't seem familiar to the first game in the slightest. Oh my goodness, I've got the power of Thor in my hands. Sweet Barrier Reef. And limited power! Ooh. Daddy was sleeping for such a long time, and Eleanor has missed you. Find her and you'll be all better. That sounds great! Oh. Bye. Crazy bitch. Anyway. Another difference with this game is you can dual wield your plasmids and your weapon at the same time. Weapon, plasmid. No switching on and off, which is pretty nice. Gotta admit, that makes the one-two punch a lot faster. Let's see if I can demonstrate that really quick, actually. Howdy! Bang! Bang! Suck it! I want to loot that corpse. Not going to power that machine up yet. I'd like to get all the stuff I can. So this should be a lot more casual of a playthrough than the first one. I should be freaking out a lot less. Which is more fun for me, might be less fun for you. Eh. I'll enjoy this. Where'd that body go? Hello? F. I'm pressing the F key. Where are you? I have no idea where that guy went. He just... Oh, there he is. Neat. I wanted that money. I work hard for the money! Okay. Let's light up that generator and get that door open. I wonder if I can... Actually, I bet I can snipe it from across the room. This new Electro Bolt's super accurate, I think. Psst. Yep. Open the door! Open it! Open it! Open it! Open it! Ah, oh, 
At last, a signal. You, who are bringing this dead city to life, listen. My name, it is Tannenbaum. I know who you are, and I am in much need of your help. Please, okay. find me in the Atlantic Express train station. Audio diary. To my daughter, Eleanor. Soon, you will be born, and Rapture will like be your home. You shall be raised as Five I bucks to use the freaking to toilet? advance the common good Hi, through social psychiatry. I'll pay it. This city's potential is toilet. immeasurable, Eleanor. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, Rapture will come to us. Oh my god, I can beatbox with these toilets. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I'm done. Let's move on, shall we? Oh! Screw you, Susie. What do you got? Money! What kind of pants are those? Is that a kilt? I see your butt. Your butt's hanging down. Pull up your freaking pants. Hipster. Put on some glasses. Uh, I want that Eve hypo, but I don't have... It... Okay. I haven't had a taste of Adam in weeks. <laughs> this is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, you are not alone. Think of me not as leader, but as mother to the Rapture family. Before I get interrupted again, I might as well grab this. I am back in Rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up and think of me no more. After what I once did to them, it was a joy to be forgotten. But now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return, in fear of what I already know. Someone is making new little ones, continuing my work, my sins. Even if I am to die for it, I must stop them. So basically what's happened between games is we killed that guy, and then we killed, I think, that guy. I'm pretty sure that's Fontaine. And then we saw him die, and then we killed him, not in that order, but she is still here, Tannenbaum is. That one is the one that took over after that one and that one died, as far as I know. Her name is Sophia Lamb, and she's the main bad guy from this, as you saw during the laggy intro cutscene. She's a complete bitch. I hate her with my every fiber and my being. Riven gun. Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. Boink. 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 Oh man, I thought I headshotted you. Die. Psst. Love using sound effects. I mean, like, being so big and heavy and having to drill, just the greatest thing ever. Nothing is more satisfying than running up someone and just smack them in the face. Be all like, bitch please! Suck all my drill! Punk! Barely made it down alive. But here it is. And it's real. Rapture. This is where that thing took my... Poor baby girl. From what I saw in the sub, most of the city's in ruins. But there were lights here and there. And shapes moving. Ugh, oh, I'm rambling, scared, I guess. But maybe, if I find this Dr. Lamb I keep hearing over the PA, I'll find Cindy. Yeah. That was fun. That guy is from some sort of side series that was like a promotional for this game when it first came out which is why he has a special little portrait or something 
So that's the reason for that, in case you're wondering. Is there a way I can, like... Nope. I was certain... Okay, never mind. Maybe, maybe that's an upgrade I need to get. Hello, little girl. Having fun, stabbing that guy in the butt. Taking out his... Mojo. I can't pick you up. I don't have any hands. Ooh. Hi. Hi there. So this is the big sister, who has played up like crazy during the release of Bioshock 2. Um, during this part, she can't kill you, so there's absolutely no point to fighting back against her. You can just kind of sit and watch as she tries to humble you into submission, but there's nothing she can really do. Because this is the intro tutorial, and you can't die in the tutorial. Funny enough. And when she realizes this, she gets mad and runs away. First aid kit. So let's explore this room. This is Dr. Sophia Lamb with a message for the people. Remember, Big Sister is always watching. To steal Adam is to steal from the Rapture family. Your family. Hmm. So first aid kits, ribbon gun, ammo. Got anything else in here? Have you some cigarettes? First aid kit. Got two first aid kits, that's good. It's plenty, actually. And more Eve hypos we don't need because we picked up too many from that one little vending machine. Better safe than sorry, though, isn't it? Let's see if there's anything up here. Man, this would have been a nice little room before it got screwed over. Okie dokie. Let's pick this up. No, I can't pick it up. Got enough rivets to last a lifetime. Oh, hey. First aid kit. Oh, boy. We can only carry five of... We can only carry five of those, by the way. And that was a creepy noise. It, we will be reborn in the womb of the ocean. That is kind of even more creepy. Hmm. Hope nothing bad happens to me in here. Actually, this part's pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. Yes, I needed to do the sound effect. Leave me alone. But lo and behold, we aren't dead, because we're in a diving suit. Great. One of the first things you discover about being a big daddy is that you can actually go out into the outdoors of Rapture, which we've never been able to do before. Which gives us a sort of surreal In that suit, even the ocean cannot harm you. This is good. But Rapture is the death of many great men. Alone, you will not last long. You can still reach the train station. Find me there. You don't have to worry about getting attacked while you're out here by anything, by the way. We can even look in on this. Speaking of which, what is that? It looks like a big daddy, but it's different. What is that? That's actually one of the new uh, types of big daddies that we'll find out about later. See that little thing? That's a turret. Those big daddies throw down turrets. Yep. Turret daddies, I guess you would call them. I don't know their official name. I think they're called thumpers, but I don't really remember. I didn't get far enough in the game, actually, to run into one, so we'll get to play with them later and see what they do. And discover the best way for dealing with them. Jellyfish! Jellyfish! Oh, I can't capture it. I don't have any Pokeballs. Is that an Eve Hypo? Give me Eve Hypo. Eve Hypo. No, I can't carry it. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, man, isn't it pretty out here, though? What's this? What's this a billboard for? Mealtime frozen dinners. Yes. 
I can't tell what that says. In two simple steps, you can have a good square meal. Yes, I, I, I don't know what that word is past. I think that's like, yes, E, C, I don't even. Someone translate that word for me. It, I don't know what that means. I thought it was the word. <laughs> I thought it was fuck for a second. <laughs> but it didn't look like it. It started with an E. Um. Anyway. Check this out. Ain't that a view. You can tell from a distance that the city's like falling apart at the seams. Like all of the machinery and stuff is broken. Don't mind the giant squid. It just looks like a complete mess. I think it's been about a decade since uh, the end of Bioshock 1. I think another thing is we can't take falling damage. I'm not even sure if you could take falling damage in the first Hi! You son of a bitch. I'll get you later. You don't even be concerned. I will get you later. Oh, we can boost off of these, I think. No, nope, I guess not. Some of these I'm pretty sure you can boost off of. But... Alright. Well, let's head back inside. We've done our sea walking. Airlock control, drain! Bam, bam, bam. 